Hello everyone. So um, today we're gonna do a review slash unboxing kind of thing. I've already had it packed out to see if it works, so that's good. Um, but we're gonna do a test of the Nimrod Chronograph NTC01. We're gonna compare it to the the Dragon Pro um, Chronograph, and we're gonna see what is best. I have a general consensus with this always measuring too little and being pretty inaccurate compared to other chronographs. I'm not sure why. Like these two are kind of the same price, like it's the same price range. You also do get different things in each package. This one, you get a chronograph and you get a cable with it. And the cable is to to power it up since this has an internal battery. This, the Nimrod, you get a chronograph. As you see in here, I will show you. You get a, you get a chronograph, you get a, um, a mount and a chronograph. This chronograph has a external battery. I've already put in. It's four times, four times AAA batteries, um, which can be good and bad. This has a internal battery, which can be good and bad. This one has a bunch of profiles. It has six profiles. You can change the light the memory and the BBs, that's it. It doesn't have a lot of options. You can also choose the unit if it's uh, foot or feet um, or meters you want to measure. That's kind of it. it. This is very basic menu. The Nimrod have kind of more advanced, advanced, um, advanced menu. I'm sorry, but it's super hard to record because it's not the same refresh rate as the recording. But the Nimrod Chronograph has a bunch of different information. Right now it's meters per second joules. It's a joules slash CM times two. I don't know what that means. It has the RPS, it has which ammo, and the ammo here, it, it has one, two, three, four, five, six. It has six profiles you can just change instantly here with a click on a button, which is super easy. Then you can scroll, then you can choose the ammo. Obviously it said six pre-made profiles. You can choose unit, which is RPS and meters per second, which uh, us Europeans like and everyone in the world should use. Then APO, so you can set how when you want it to turn off. But I always turn this off by itself. Um, that's a thing Nimrod could do. Um, to take like a one minute auto turn off and this turns off by itself, which would be super nice. Then IR calibration. So you can calibrate this. Click, click, you see it's a small thing, it's calibrating. Boom, both calibrated. It says a certain percent of calibration, whatever, whatever that means. Um, then you can reset if you want to. I'm not going to reset it. Um, I'm going to test the chronograph in what is it called with 0.30s. This Nimrod chronograph also comes with a very fancy program to the computer, which I will show after this real quick. So you can connect this chronograph to the computer, so when you shoot, you can store all your data and everything on the PC. Obviously, the other one doesn't come with that. So this one has a lot of stuff in the package for the same price, which is little to none. Um, yeah. The biggest downside I ever had with this is that it has AAA batteries, which means that it's, it's not very cold resistant as the one with the internal battery. But if, if you don't mind it, I mean, if you're not going to use a chronograph in, in minus uh, minus ten outside, then uh, then you will never see any issues. So yeah, I mean that should be fine for you, I guess. And the Nimrod chronograph having this this uh, this mount is um very nice. You just take it, boom, very nice. It has here so you can tighten up. You're just going to tighten that instantly. Obviously this. This is plastic, so careful when you tighten it. You don't want to over tighten anything so you break stuff. There we go, that's pretty tight. Um, this one doesn't come with a foot, but uh, I got Nimrod to send me an extra one. So I have two, two foot, two feet. Very nice when you're an airsofter, so I have two feet to stand on. Yeah, very funny, very funny, whatever. Um, but yes. I will set up real quick so you can see what I'm going to chrono and the differences in between these two when you chrono because there's actually quite a lot of differences. Okay, okay, so we have the two chronographs. Sorry, the Nimrod is kind of hard to film when I'm using this camera, 
So I'm gonna try to do my best for you guys to actually be able to see it. Um, first, we're gonna chronograph with my old chrono, which is the Dragon Pro. It's obviously set to 0 0.30 gram BBs. Uh, it is not right now. It's set to 0 0.40. That definitely needs to be changed. <laughs> set memory. No, it's 0 0.30. Already had a profile, just forgot to switch to it. My bad, very unprofessional. Let's uh, make it even, so we're not gonna shoot inside the chrono. That's maybe something you can see. The hole in the Nimrod is way bigger than the hole in that. 0 0.89, 0 0.87. Yes, this goes out very fast. That's because I set it to it. 0 0.88. 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.93, 0 0.9, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. As you can see, this chronograph is showing very low joules. This is also an upgraded gun. It's from Delta Armory. You guys will see this in the future. I'm gonna do a review on it. Um, yeah, that's gonna be kind of special. Let's set this to uh, uh, rounds per second. Yes, let's see how fast it shoots. If we can take full also this chronograph. 16.6. 14.2. 14.2. Let's go with 14.2. So that is the old school, the old chronograph. Let's take the new one. Here's the new, the Nimrod chronograph. So the old one on Simi was 0 0.9 joules. Now let's see what the Nimrod says. 0 0.8, 0 0.7, I mean 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.81, 0 0.81, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.8. 0 .8. 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.79, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0 0.81, 0 0.8, 0 0.81. Let's try it full automatic if it says RPS. 14.4, 14.1 1, as the other one says. There's something I realized with the Nimrod, you have to shoot a little bit more BBs before it calculates the full auto. On the Dragon Pro, it goes instant pretty much. Anyways, so as you can see, that's the Nimrod chronograph and the Dragon Pro. I will show you guys the program. Okay, as you can see here, we have the program. Uh, for you to be able to use it with your chronograph, you need to have a USB that can be connected to the PC. So for you to be able to connect the Nimrod chronograph to the PC, you need something that goes in this hole. I obviously have one here. Let's see, let's connect it. There we go. We're gonna put it in the PC. Then you can hear the little ding ding ding. Obviously, sorry for the this is not you know like the best quality of filming like this, but I'm gonna try to do my best. Um now you need to connect. There's a small thing called connection here. You click on it and it says please upgrade to the most current version. Boom, there we go. As you can see, it's already storing all my recent BB shots, which is super nice. That's I, I really love that. Then you can do a bunch of calculation. You can sync it with the chronograph itself. There's a lot of things you can do, which is actually quite fancy. Um, maybe this would be a really good thing if you're in a tech shop and you are using it to tech and uh, you don't necessarily want to be looking at the screen here, but you want to be looking at the screen here while your customers are, or your rentals or people come and shoot at your field, maybe. Um, you want to be looking at the PC to get the most accurate, um, the most accurate showing of what that guns actually shoot. So this could actually also be a really good thing for a field. Um, so yeah, very nice app. Okay, final words on the chronographs. Um, Obviously, as you can see, the Nimrod is vastly, 
it has a vastly, hugely bigger amount of options and abilities to do all kinds of things. Um, and when I shoot, with, when I shoot with any gun, I get better readings with this than I do with this. Like my guns are more accurate. Um, like when when I had like okay FPS FPS vari variations, this one doesn't show. This one shows a lot of FPS variations compared to this. So this one also shows if your gun is actually finely tuned. With this unit, I got at least. Um, yeah, it's all up to you. What do you want? Do you want a uh, chronograph who's uh, middle of the pack in price and is packed to the fucking rim with um, with features? Then this is for you. If you want a chronograph, you can just show up to the field and this just works and you don't have to do all kinds of stuff or you cannot do all kinds of fancy stuff. This is for you. But uh, I mean, if, if, if you choose to buy a chronograph and these are the same price, why would you not take the one with all the fancy stuff? So, yeah. Anyways, thank you Nimrod for sending this chronograph. I mean, yeah, you know, I work with, I work, I do some stuff with Nimrod, so obviously it's a sponsor video, but I'm, as you saw in one of my last this video, last videos with the Scorpion, I do say what I mean and I think. So, yeah, I definitely think this is a very good chronograph. Um, not just because I got it for free, but like, it's a good chronograph, you can literally see it in the video. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, maybe write in the comments or to me in the DMs or Instagram. Or... Anyway, what would you like to see next? Anyways, see you next time and uh, peace.